tutorial I'll show you how to add loads to your analytical model. If you're in your analytical model in uh, 3D here, um, you can see on the top here you've got the analyze with uh, first off with the loads on the on the left hand side here. If you click load you'll see that we have general loads here as well as hosted loads. Hosted loads are when you're applying it specifically to a beam or floor. Uh, in this case here I'll show you how to use the general loads and we'll start off by just using an area load. Under area load, you can see that there are several properties that come up here. And we're just going to select uh, the type of load, the load case. We could do dead load, live load, wind load, snow load, on down the line. So we'll, we will select uh, dead load. We're going to orient it to our specific work plane we'll work in. And then here we'll give it a, um, a rating in terms of the amount of load we're going to apply. So this is what we will. Uh, be looking at doing. Um, <clears throat> we're going to want to draw in level two, but the way we're going to do that is we're going to set the work plane. And so um, you're going to set that work plane. It's going to ask you where you want that. We want to be on level two. So we'll be up on that second level. So we'll hit OK. Now we're going to actually go to level two um, in order to have a good view of how we want to draw this. Um, come in here and uh, pick the endpoints of your beams and columns and that will give a good uh, square just to throw in and we have approved that <clears throat> and if you go to your analytical model you should see that that comes in that way so that is the way to uh, throw in uh, loads into your uh, model you can do this in different work planes if I wanted to throw in um, another load, but I want it to be a wind load. I'll select the work plane, click the area here. I'm going to set that work plane. Now instead of level here, I'm going to choose the grid. This is another reason for, for grid. So I could select the grid, and that's the grid that I would be using. And I would come in to my east view. And again, I can go ahead and add in like so. I go back to my 3D model and see the load comes in there. Now you can always click on a load and select. And um, in this case here, it actually we didn't uh, select wind load here, and so you can change that um, like so. And these will show up with different colors. Wind load is yellow, live load is, or I'm sorry, uh, live load is yellow, wind load is blue, on down the line. So you can add loads to various portions of your model this way.